Before we begin, please don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy this video. Okay, here we go. In the blink of an eye, a life can be snuffed out, leaving only traces of a person who once lived, laughed, and loved. That's what happened to Big Jook, born Anthony Mims, Yo Gotti's older brother. Just hours before his untimely demise, he was seen at his uncle Eric Boven's funeral in Tennessee, his emotions raw and palpable. He was a rock to those around him, providing comfort amidst their shared grief. Then, tragedy struck. A hail of bullets, the circumstances of which remain murky, claimed his life, leaving behind only speculation and whispers of a possible connection to the murder of young Dolph. In a world where bullets don't discriminate, the music industry was yet again left mourning. A day that started like any other soon took a sinister turn. Big Jook, born Anthony Mims, a prominent figure in the music industry, was attending a funeral in Tennessee. Known for his affiliation with Yo Gotti's label, he was more than just an artist. He was a mentor, a guide, a brother to many in the industry. At 47 he still had so much to give, so much music to create. But fate had other plans. In the midst of grief, tragedy struck again. The details remain murky but what we know is this. Jook was shot and killed in Memphis. Alongside him another man was injured, a stark reminder of the violence that plagues our society. Rumors swirl, whispers of a connection to the murder of young Dolph, but nothing is certain. What is certain however, is the irreplaceable loss felt by those who knew him, those who loved him. In a city that never sleeps, death had its eyes wide open. When the echoes of gunfire fade, what remains is the deafening silence of loss. In the wake of Big Jook's untimely death, the music industry mourns the loss of a formidable talent. Known not just as Yogati's older brother, but a force in his own right, Big Jook was a pillar in the Tennessee music scene. His sudden departure leaves a void that resonates with artists and fans alike, a silence echoing through the streets of Memphis. Family and friends, grappling with the weight of this loss, find themselves in a world where Big Jook's laughter no longer fills the room. His absence is felt deeply, a reminder of the fragility of life and the fleeting nature of our existence. Meanwhile, fans are left navigating a landscape where Big Jook's unique sound no longer reverberates. His music, a symphony of life's complexities, now plays like a haunting melody of what once was and what could have been. As the investigation continues the question of who is responsible for Big Jook's death remains unanswered. The silence of the unknown is deafening, the need for justice pulsing with every passing moment, Yet, in the face of this senseless act of violence, we are reminded of the importance of unity, of standing together against the tide of violence that threatens to erode our communities. It is paramount now, more than ever, to ensure that Big Jook's death is not in vain, that his life serves as a catalyst for change. As we navigate this narrative of tragedy, we are left with one undeniable truth. Big Jook's music will continue to reverberate, his legacy immortalized in the rhythm of our hearts. 